My name's Ben Lee. I'm a senior research associate at Lancaster University. Uh, my research focuses on extreme right political movements. And in recently, I've been doing a little bit of research specifically on conspiracy theories. So we need to start off by defining what a conspiracy theory is. Michael Barkin argues that conspiracy theories are about covert actions being carried out by either known or unknown groups. So it's very important that a conspiracy is composed of somebody acting covertly for a malevolent end. It's very also very important to remember that conspiracy theories aren't necessarily false. They're about knowledge which is seen as being stigmatized, which is outside the political mainstream. And what I was interested in is conspiracy theories are often mentioned in reference to extreme right political movements. And I wanted to know how important conspiracy theories were in mobilizing people to join extreme right groups. So to do this, I looked at three prominent extreme right news sites. I gathered content for um, about 15 months and I analyzed over 210 news stories looking for examples of covert action and covert actors and overt actors acting covertly. And what I found is that when we crunched the numbers that generally there was plenty of references to specific aspects of conspiracy theory, specific plots, but it was quite rare that they would talk about grand conspiratorial narratives, the kind of narrative that we're all familiar with from extreme right groups. And so what we can draw from this is that on a routine, mundane, day-to-day -day level, extreme right news sites don't really talk about conspiracy theories in the way that we might think that they do. So what, in conclusion, while it's fair to say that conspiracy theories have a very kind of prominent place within extreme right websites, that they are certainly very core essential texts. On a daily level, extreme right mobilization seems to be more about outrage than it is about conspiracy.